In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Barcode. Barcode is a freebie plugin from Yanobox that allows you to generate a standard barcode and manipulate it in extreme ways. I'm in After Effects, but this generator works in Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, and Motion as well. Barcode is located in a Yanobox folder in Effects. I'll just start typing the name in the text field and it will appear. I'm going to right-click on my canvas and choose New Solid. I'll drop the barcode generator on this solid and it will take over. Here is our generic barcode. Let's take a look at some of the presets so you can get the gist of what this generator can do. As you can see, barcode gives you complete control of all the elements of the barcode itself, the numbers, colors, and bars. Let's choose the classic white preset. Barcode does have transparency as you'll see in a minute. My background color of this composition is black. I'm going to rename this layer to barcode down on the timeline so I don't get confused later when I start compositing it with other layers. If we look at the parameters, we can see all the control we have. Master completion draws the whole barcode from left to right. But I also have control of completion of the bars and the numbers separately. I'd like to animate them independently. First, I'll animate the bars completion parameter from zero to one over the first second of the clip. I'll click the keyframe button next to the parameter, which drops a keyframe at our zero point on the timeline. I'll go down to the layer on the timeline and use my favorite After Effects shortcut, the letter U, which shows me only the attributes that are keyframed or animated. I'll add my second keyframe at one second and set the value to one. So now the generator draws the bars across the screen. Next, I'll fade on the digits a little later and more slowly by animating the font opacity setting. I'll show you some of the other parameters we have control over, fonts and color of font, the numbers of the barcode itself, and the height and offset of the bars. I'm going to stick with white for my animation, but I have to show you the color mode setting because it's so cool. Now, as I select the different options in my color mode drop-down menu, you'll see it generate complementary colors, a triad, 360, which is a loop around the color wheel starting at your first color, or shade, which assigns different shades based on your selected color. As always, a click on the barcode help icon in the effect will give you in-depth info on all of these parameters. The last thing I'll do is go to my digits input drop-down and choose random. If I scrub the clip, you can see it will generate random numbers constantly. So where do you put a barcode in your video? I wanted to create a cool effect with a racing clip I have. I'll pull in two clips, a video of a race car rounding a bend, and an image called Clean Plate, which is the road with no race car. More on this in a minute. I'll turn my barcode into a 3D layer so I can alter its X, Y, and Z rotations and position it like it's sitting right on the road. I thought of this because the barcode bars look sort of like a crosswalk. I'll adjust the opacity so it looks like it's painted on the road. Now for the fun bit. I'll position my race car clip on the top layer with the barcode in the middle and the clean plate on the bottom. I'll drop a difference mat on the race car clip and then choose the clean plate image in the difference layer dropdown. All this is doing is looking at the race car clip and keying anything that's different from the clean plate. If I turn off the clean plate layer, you can see only the race car. Now I'll scrub until the race car is over my barcode and I'll tweak the keying settings in the difference mat effect until the race car looks as realistic as it can. It doesn't have to be perfect because it moves so fast. Now I have a race car driving over an animated barcode that is painted on the road. Lastly, I'll pre-compose these layers as their own composition. We call this nesting in Final Cut Pro. And drop the vintage TV effect on the resulting comp. And there's our cool racing promo. Barcode is a very cool and very specific special effect plugin. Best of all, it's a freebie.
FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.